Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by Robert Smith from the British Boxing Board of Control. Firstly, Robert, boxing's back. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's good to see boxing back. Um, taking a lot of work to get there, but uh, we're there, so uh, really pleased. Right, I just want to just obviously jump straight into it. I know that boxing's back and we're pleased, but the first show of the year, I know you've done a couple of interviews by IFL TV with young Oscar, and it seems to be the same sort of recurring topic that we're talking about now. It's the judging score. And I want to go to last last week, the first show of uh, 2020, was obviously the Kiko Martinez and uh, Selfa Barrett fight with the score. And, um, for somebody like yourself, ha- what are your thoughts on that? When you, when you see a scorecard like that, when it's divided opinions, when people obviously think it should have went the other way, majority of people thought it went... How, what, what's your initial thoughts when you read a, hear a scorecard like that? I think you've got to put it in perspective. I mean, I was sitting six metres away behind a Perspex screen. People behind me were sitting another two metres away behind that and looking through the Perspex screen I was. TV are uh, 30, 40 yards behind that in a big box in a Perspex screen and um, other pundits were in a corner looking at it from an angle. Um, what seems to be forgotten that every round is a contest. So therefore, once that previous round is done, that's it. So you move on to the next round. Um, I thought um, Barrett won it by a couple of rounds. Um, you know, the scores look wide, but as long as you look at it in a way that it's every single round is a contest, then if somebody just edges it, then obviously they get the round. The problem we've got in the sport, I suppose, really is a scoring system. I don't think it made any difference on this particular fight, but if you've got a close round, it's 10 9. If you've got a wide round, it's 10 9. If there was some other system you could do where you could bring in a 10-8 if it was a wide round, then it's different. As I say, I don't think it makes a lot of difference on that particular contest. But I do think that the positions we're all in now, uh, as in seating, seating in an arena, does make a difference. Um, because you're not seeing seeing the little uppercuts and the counters that, that, that uh, Zelfa was doing or landing. Whereas we're just looking at somebody else walking forward, throwing lots and lots of shots. Mm. Uh, a great deal of those are landed on arms and gloves. Uh, so, you know, it's perception how you look at it. The fact that two experienced judges went the same score goes to show me they were looking at the same thing at that particular time. Um, so whatever we do, we're not going to win. Um, I do think that television commentary has a huge influence on people watching on television, um, whereas I don't think that's right sometimes. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously... The last time you spoke to Oscar was the the Ritson versus Vasquez fight. Now, is these sort of scoring and the, the away fighter, especially when they come from abroad, um, like Kiko and Vasquez, and maybe uh, we've seen other foreign fighters, are we going to start seeing these foreign fighters not want to come to to the UK to fight these, especially if it's for a, a, like a world title or a European title or a WBO European title or whatever? Are we going? Are you afraid that we might see these foreign fighters deterred from coming to the UK because of? the way sometimes our judging is over here. Yeah, it concerns me, but I don't think that makes any difference with regard to how a contest is judged. Mm-hmm. Uh, the judge, contest has to be judged correctly, and I think it was judged correctly the other day, um, and, and, and the previous fight. I do understand people will say that it's not the right thing to do. This thing about you know, being like other countries, I think, is unfair, very unfair, um, bearing in mind how many, you know, we're talking, you're talking about two contests um, over a period of how many how many shows and how many fights, you know, very very small, uh, as in percentage wise. So it's difficult. But yes, I do understand people saying that. I don't think it's right. I think we're treated they're treated very very well over here. And if you win the fight, you win the fight. Yeah. Obviously, I want to go to the, the Wellington fight itself as well. Now, again, I know a little bit of controversy in this in this fight in terms of some people might think that the referee, I believe it was Howard Foster, um, should have stopped that fight in the fourth in the fourth round. Now, Howard's obviously. He's a top referee, you know what I mean? Again, you mentioned it there, that it's, it's this one small sample size from a sample size so big in the amount of referees, the amount of fights he referees throughout the year, his career or whatever. But again, it's the news cycle, isn't it? It's, it's what, what happened to me, what has, what's happened lately. And it seems like some people are saying if that was on another foot, if it was um, a Mexican fighter, I forgot his name, please forgive me, uh, that the, the fight would have been stopped the way that he was hurt and he was, his legs had gone. Do you think there was a, the fight should have been stopped itself, the Wellington fight in the fourth round? I personally, if, if it's the fight of safety, I believe that that's what the, 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 the most important thing is for any referee is to look after the safety of the boxer. Mm-hmm. Um, if Howard would have stopped that contest at that point, I wouldn't argue. Mm-hmm. 
the fact he allowed, he allowed it to carry on, I wouldn't argue. In all intents and purposes, uh, by name, you know, name only, Josh is a world champion. That was a world championship contest. It's not a six rounder or a four rounder where maybe you'd say, oh, somebody can come back and fight another box another day or whatever. That was a top class contest to take place. That is a huge implication for that individual. Howard said to me, I spoke to Howard after the bout briefly and I spoke to him on the Monday, I think it was Monday or the Tuesday after the bout. He said to me that Josh's eyes were clear and he said, I'm fine, Howard. He didn't just say, I'm fine, ref. He said, I'm fine, Howard. Um, obviously, that has some implications of what the referee will do. I would like to think that if, it's, if the if, uh, boot was on the other foot, the referee would act exactly the same way. I'm sure he would, because I know Howard. I've known him for many, many years. I think he is one of the best, best referees in the world, or officials in the world. So, you know, it's all very well saying this and that, whatever. This is what happened, and we have to deal with what happened. And I was happy for him to continue. And I also thought that Josh was clawing his way back into the contest. In my opinion, he won the fifth round. Um, you know, he, he, got, he got back. The thing that dis disappointed me a little bit when I watched it on television a number of times is they weren't talking about the punches that had been landed. Josh hit him with a cracking left hook in the fifth round that could have won the round for him. Um, but what they were saying is, oh, this is a disaster. This is, you know, not good for, not good for his career, etc. They weren't really concentrating on what was going on in the round itself. So that sort of disappoints me. But I can understand people's concerns um, with regard to how things went. But I was relatively happy with regard to how things went. Do you sit down with your referees and judges and stuff like that and talk about these sort of like... Because obviously Twitter's Twitter and Instagram's Instagram, Facebook is Facebook, but the fans seem to jump on it quick especially on Twitter, like that scorecard was discussed and he should be refereeing anymore, he shouldn't judge anymore. When you see these things on Twitter and stuff like that, what do you do, do you, your referees and anyone else in the boxing board, board, boxing board of control, do you just get down to have a chat, have a meeting or whatever to discuss the talking points of that fight or that, that, that show? Yeah, Twitter and social, well, social media doesn't play a big part of it, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, I saw that things were going on even before Joshua got back to the dressing room. People were screaming and whatever with regard to that. Uh, we, we take all the reports in. Uh, we consider all those reports. We look to see whether anybody's done something wrong or done something right, etc. So every single performance of a referee is considered. Um, and I think that on the vast majority of the time, we're pretty satisfied. We'll have a board meeting relatively soon where that tournament, not just particular fights, but that tournament will be discussed, whether things have gone wrong at the show and things have gone right at the show and how we can improve. And those results will be considered at that point. Well, that, that being said, like you said, it's, it's one sort of fight out of however many fights that the Boxing Board of Control sort of sanction in terms of the, the fights that they referee and judge and stuff like that. Are you happy with... With, uh, overall with everything that your referees and your judges and everyone, how they, they go about their business? I think we're very lucky in this country. I think we have some of the best of officials in the world. I'm, I'm very lucky in my job. I can travel around the world and see the standard of official, officials t um, taking part or pointed to shows, etc. And I think we're very, very lucky. And uh, I think we're second to none. Now, you know, people will say, well, he's bound to say that. It's an old boys network, blah, blah, blah. It's not an old boys network. Um, that these aren't people sit on the board, they are licence holders. You know, if they do something wrong, we'll deal with it. Um, but on the whole, I think that we're very lucky and uh, we, should be, we should appreciate that. Well, away from the judging and stuff like that, boxing is back. I mean, as a boxing man, you, you must be happy. Um, but obviously, the boxing stopped in January, it's now back. And what were the reasons for the, the January thing? Was it solely because of the new variant and stuff like that that was coming? The reason why boxing was the only sort of elite sport, professional sport that wasn't continuing in January? Yeah, we, we have to take on board um, our opinions of our doctors and where they work and, and the things they're seeing going on, etc. Also, you know, venues, facilities at venues. If anybody has to go to a hospital, we have to make sure that they can be looked after properly. Um, the doctors felt that uh, January was not the right time to go. There was a big spike with regard to COVID and the variants, etc. Um, but they felt that the middle of February, I mean, I was trying to get them to, trying to persuade them to start at the beginning of February, but I was not back. Um, middle of February was the right, word, right time to go, as calling to them. And um, that's what we did. And we, you know, as, as you quite rightly said, we're the only sport in the country that said no. I think it was the right decision. Um, I wasn't particularly happy at the time, but it was the right decision uh, when you look back. And uh, you know, we, we are up and running and hopefully we can continue.
Definitely. Well, that being said, as a boxing man, you must be happy. That well, you are happy that we're up and running. We've got the MTK show t- tomorrow night. We've had Warrington last weekend. We've got Avanishian and finally, and Josh Kelly on Saturday night. Pavet and White. Do you know what I mean? We've got so many big cards coming up. So, again, boxing's looking good. We'll wait till next week till the first bell goes, and we'll see what happens after that. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, we'll touch wood. Let's not jinx that fight. But the the sports, I think the sports in a healthy position. I think we've we've rode out the issues that there are, um, and you know, there's a lot of issues. We are slightly different to other sports with regard to the things we have to put in place for tournaments to take place, Um, and we've got it uh, with the hard work of the promoters, the hard work of my bosses, and hard work of all our doctors, etc., and officials. Uh, to do that, you know, I'm just the person who's when things go wrong, they want to speak to. Not very often they speak to me when uh, things are going right. But uh, I no. promise next time I'll do so. I'll do when it goes right. No problem. But uh, but you know, I I do understand that. But I do think it was the right time. You know, people have said you're a week too early or two weeks too early, but we've started and we started well. Um, people were criticised what happened last week. I'm satisfied with it at the present time. I haven't seen anything different to make me change my mind. Maybe tomorrow could be different, but. We've got a good show this weekend. We've got a cracking Commonwealth Championship. We've got an English Championship. We've got a Southern Area Championship. And a good undercard. A really good undercard. And I think that, that uh, Lee Eaton has done a really good job putting this together along with his team. And I'm looking forward to it. Nice little shout out for Lee Eaton. I'm sure he'll, he'll be happy about that. It's not often he gets a shout out. Yeah? It's all right. Just watch the interview, Lee. You'll, you'll see Robert said some nice things about you. Um, <laughs> um, any final words for anyone watching this, this, this interview? No, I just think that uh, you know, I'm really pleased that uh, the sport's back. I'm really pleased that people are watching it um, and listening to all the podcasts, etc. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Don't always agree with it, but they're entitled to their opinion. And let's just move on, and I'm sure everything's going to be great. Definitely. Robert, again, thanks for this, Fairfield TV. I really appreciate it, and uh, enjoy the boxing tomorrow night and Saturday night. Thank you very much. God bless you. Anytime. Thank you. Cheers. All right.